Welcome to another video guide that will help you will learn how to protect your network from storm traffic using storm control. This security feature enables the GWN switch to monitor traffic flow of broadcast, multicast, and unknown unicast packets. In this video, we will explain what this security feature does and how to configure it on the GWN switch. Storm control is a security feature that can be enabled to protect the local area network from excessive traffic that could potentially degrade the network performance. It can be enabled on each interface to limit the amount of broadcast, unknown multicast, and unknown unicast. The storm control threshold can be defined as a number of packets per second, or as a total bandwidth, and each port can be configured with a specific value. The switch interface will monitor the traffic, and if the storm control level is exceeded, the switch can drop the excess traffic or shut down the interface depending on the configured action. The configurable actions for storm control are drop and disable. For drop, when the selected type of traffic exceeds the defined threshold, storm control will drop the excess traffic. When disable action is selected, storm control feature will put the port into the error disabled state which basically shuts down the port. If port auto recovery is not configured for this storm control event, the port must be manually enabled by the administrator. The GWN7800 supports storm control for three types of traffic, broadcast, unknown multicast, and unknown unicast. Let's quickly explain these types of traffic. Broadcast is a type of traffic that is sent out to all hosts in the same subnet or broadcast domain. It uses the broadcast IP address as the destination. Many protocols, such as DHCP and ARP, rely on broadcast in their communication. When there is a loop in the network, broadcast can cause issues, like broadcast storm. Multicast is a type of traffic that is simultaneously transmitted to a group of destination devices that belong to the same multicast group. Unknown multicast refers to multicast traffic that is sent to multicast groups that are not learned by IGMP snooping or for which there is no static entry in the multicast table. Unicast traffic is a one-to-one -one communication where traffic is sent from one device to another. Unknown unicast traffic is traffic that arrives with a destination MAC address that is not found in the MAC address table of the switch. And in this case, the switch will simply flood the unknown unicast packet to all ports that belong to the same VLAN. Now, we will log into the web interface of GWN switch to demonstrate how to configure storm control. Go to Security Settings and click on Storm Control. The Storm Control feature is disabled by default. It must be explicitly enabled on each port. Before doing that, we need to globally define the threshold unit that will be used to measure traffic. The thresholds are configured using a packets per second and kilobit per second rate. A normal packet usually uses 8 to 14 kilobit per second, so we will just keep the default. IFG stands for Interframe Gap, which is a preamble that exists between transmitted frames. You can choose to include or exclude the time of interframe gaps when monitoring the traffic size on an interface. The minimum IFG is generally 8 bytes. Let's enable Storm Control on the Gigabit Interface 2. Toggle the option for Storm Control. You can enable the Storm Control selectively for broadcast, unknown multicast, or unknown unicast traffic, or any combination of traffic types. On this interface, we will configure storm control for both broadcast and unknown multicast. Toggle the option for broadcast and enter the value 100. This is an access switch and the threshold value configured here assumes that this interface is used by a single device only. If this switch interface is connected to an access point, we should use a greater value. We will toggle this option to enable storm control for unknown multicast as mentioned earlier, unknown multicast refers to multicast traffic that is sent to multicast groups that are not learned by IGMP snooping or for which there is no static entry in the multicast address table. It is a good practice to enable IGMP snooping with storm control. Otherwise, all multicast traffic will be considered unknown multicast traffic. When IGMP snooping is configured with flood mode, unknown multicast traffic will get forwarded out to all interfaces that belong to the same subnet. Let's set the threshold to 100 packets per second. For the action to take when the threshold is exceeded, the switch by default will drop the excess traffic. Disabled can be selected to shut down the interface when the threshold is exceeded. Port auto recovery can be configured to automatically re-enable the port after the delay time which is 30 seconds by default. 
If recovery for storm control is not enabled, the administrator must manually re-enable the port by going to Port Basic Setting. Here are a few things to consider when configuring storm control on the switch. Storm control works with inbound traffic only. It does not protect an interface from being flooded with outgoing storm traffic. There is no threshold level that is recommended because that will depend on the normal broadcast and multicast traffic in your network. The best way to determine the threshold value is to monitor the flow of broadcast and multicast traffic in the network during normal operation. You can use the traffic statistics available under our MON page to determine the normal flow of broadcast and multicast traffic in your network. This information can be used as a benchmark to define what levels are considered too high. Storm control is implemented on a per interface basis. So the switch will count traffic flow from all VLANs allowed on the interface. When using redundant links between switches, it is strongly recommended to enable spanning tree to protect against switching loops. It is a good practice to enable storm control on access ports only. That can also help identify the source of storm traffic when troubleshooting. When storm control is enabled for unknown multicast traffic, it is important to enable IGMP snooping, so the switch does not flag all multicast traffic as unknown. This concludes today's video guide about storm control. Stay tuned for more video guides about the GWN 7800 series.